So before before we get into talking about Aquaman and I think you said MASH, right? That's what you've been watching this week? Uh, it's one of the things, yeah. We wanted to take a minute to thank Boss Play, which is an escape room in Oceanside, California. They've been sponsoring our show for over a year now, officially over a year. And they're legitimately yeah. the best. The best people, the best escape room. Of all time. The best cookie makers. I can't confirm that. <laughs> but you were telling me that they started building their next uh, escape room? Yes. So it appears that they are doing a space-themed escape room, mm-hmm. which sounds very interesting. Um, I don't know if they have a date. I just know it's 2019. Yeah. So that'll be cool. Which I, uh, I predicted like a prophecy, like a prophet. Like a prophet see. I like a prophet see. They said, we're doing uh, a new escape room, and I knew it. I said, Apollo 13, this is a space-themed. It's close enough. What made you say that? That was the best idea I could imagine for an escape room. I feel like this is some insider trading. No. I, I mean, did, they I no sponsor idea. the show. <laughs> they, then, like, you you the are contest. also a part of the show. What are you talking about? You didn't know. Yeah, no, I, I, I said Apollo 14. It oh, wasn't right. like Apollo 13 specific uh-huh. space. We both got it right equally. No. Yeah. No. Apollo 13 is very Apollo specific. Apollo 14 was more recent and so therefore more relevant. Apollo 13 is very specific to being stuck and needing to escape space. Yeah, but I bet you don't even know what happened on Apollo 14. I have no idea. Do you? Because they didn't escape. Do they blow up? No one lived to tell the tale. Oof. That's a- so I'm taking a lot of liberties here. <laughs> well, this took a weird turn. But <laughs> check out Boss Play. You can find them on the internet at boss-play.com. Wow, that was so much easier than saying www. I don't uh, know why you insisted on doing that for a I year. I don't know. People, <laughs> people are As new if there's to any the other option. <laughs> there's no other options. Is there not? I feel like there I, is. No. There's nothing that comes before that. HTTP colon. That's not an option either, though. That's the same for everyone. Hmm. There's got to be other there, options. There's got to be other maybe prefixes. Maybe it's different on like the dark web. I don't know what their prefixes are. Yeah. I haven't been in a while. Well, anyways, <laughs> check out Boss Play. Uh, <laughs> if you're in Oceanside, California, or you're around there, or you can get there, go there. Let them know we told you about them. I see that. Yesterday, I saw Aquaman. Yeah. Wow, was that boring. Oh, was it boring? It was so boring. It was long. It's, it's getting great reviews. That's and what everyone's saying. Like, this is like the big change that DC needed. Mm-hmm. And I watched the trailer. And I'm like, this looks like the same nonsense. There, it, it doesn't look interesting at all. No. It's and not. to be honest, Aquaman has never been an interesting character. And I know that they're trying to to spin that. And I think Jason Momoa is probably a pretty cool guy. Mm. This just doesn't look good at all. No. Well, so the vibes that I got from watching it was they wanted it to be like Thor. Okay. You know, you have like a big, dumb, tough guy who is capable at everything. You know what I mean? Right. Like. Um, and that, that was kind of the, the tone of it all. Very, very capable at everything. <clears throat> but then a lot of the elements felt like they just pulled it from other movies. Like it didn't feel fresh or original or unique in any way. It felt like they were just straight up copying other stuff. Like from Titanic? Uh, <laughs> from How to Train Your Dragon 2. There's a very specific, adventure. specific moment in that. Uh, they used Water all- world. A lot of de aging stuff. Oh, really? And it yeah. it's a, it's obnoxious when they do it a little bit, like in uh, the Marvel movies where they have. I was gonna bit. say, which one was it that they we just saw it? Oh, Civil War. Civil War, yeah. When they, when they did it with Robert Downey Jr. Mm-hmm. Now I don't I don't have a huge problem with it, and it was only for one scene. I get that, and it was also it's a projection. So weird. Yeah, so it wasn't even actually. 
Yeah. We're also so that <laughs> <laughs> it's so a for, lot to wrap your head around. <laughs> for for it to look digital or digitized is not as big of a deal because it is digitized in the movie, right? Like it's a little right. off-putting at first and then you realize, "Oh no, this is a projection that makes sense or that adds up or my brain my brain can accept that this is the reality that you're building." Yeah. In this movie, in Aquaman, for the first half of the movie, they're doing de-aging stuff and it looks not very good like it's very clear like it's unsettling when you look at it it's that whole unca- uncanny valley thing yeah you might like you it's just so distracting and it did not feel like the the actors that did it because there was a 20 year gap between when they did it or the age that they were to the age that they actually are do you know what i'm saying yeah they, they, yeah. they de-aged them 20 years just get different actors i feel like that's the the way to go with that i don't know what's your opinion <sighs> yeah like like i said <clears throat> the i mean the the iron man robert downey jr like like it looked like that's probably what he looked like you know at that time yeah I still didn't like it. It made me uncomfortable. Yeah. Like, I don't know. And it's not even a big deal. I just, it, it's weird. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it just looks like a weird face swap. Yeah. Like, uh, but you're face swapping with yourself. Then the majority of the movie was CGI, which I get it, right? It's a, you're in the ocean. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, it has to be. It wasn't practical. But, the it's just like why not just watch a cartoon at this point like you're making an animated movie yeah you're you're trying to make this well no they probably spent way more money doing it this way but no if they just got animated oh yeah 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 um but the sorry the uh doing it live action doesn't make any sense to me if you're going to do so much CGI and if you're going to do it to the point where it stands out so much because all the fight scenes are CGI. They do right. these long one takes that don't, that just don't look good because the weight of the characters and their interactions with everything around them doesn't make sense. The acceleration that they have from when they or at a standstill to full sprint or full jump or full whatever. It's right. just like, oh no, that doesn't that doesn't work, <laughs> you know? And I know that there's superheroes and all that, but it's just like I don't know, there there's important value to having weight or having like things feel like they actually exist and not just I don't think that those values exist in superhero comic book movies anymore. Like uh-huh. that's never mattered. It doesn't seem like if this was a an original story mm-hmm. with uh, then maybe so. I feel like that's nobody cares. At least most of the people don't care. Yeah, I, I every time I see these and I get like annoyed, I feel like super nitpicky about it. And because you are. a lot, <laughs> that's true. A lot of people enjoy it, which is great. The whole time I watched it, I was like, "Oh, that green skin looks bad." Oh, that CGI doesn't look good. You know, like this is for two hours. This is what I'm thinking. It's like, oh, this, why would they do that? And it, well, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you are uh well documented as being very anti CGI. Not a lot of people know that you've been burned by CGI in the past. (laughs) You actually created CGI. Yeah. I don't get they credited took it in for a, it. They took it in a separate direction and they let you go. Since then, <laughs> it's been a, a crusade against it, which I understand. But at at some point, you got to let it go. Maybe. Maybe I'll try. If Not I, yet, but <clears> at some point. If they start doing it to a point where I don't notice it, I'll definitely let it go. That's all I want. I don't want to know. But that it. was the direction that you were trying to take, and they made it clear that's <sighs> not the way they wanted to go. Have, you saw Fury Road, right? Yes. Fury Road is Oh yes, also the old everything comes back to Fury Road or John Wick. What about John Wick? 
No, oh, that's what every movie you has. You compare it to those movies. <clears throat> I don't think I compare everything to John Whether it be Wick. Effects uh-huh. get compared to Fury Road and fight scenes get compared to John Wick. Um, I don't think I compare everything to John Wick. Maybe the raid or the or hallway the scene in Daredevil. I do that a lot. That was a good scene. It was a great scene. It's so good. That's what Black Panther, the entire movie, should have looked like. Um, Fury Stripped Road all is in covered hallway. in CGI. Yeah. There's so much CGI going on, but it's not the showcase. It's not the main point. It's the, you know, it's the trim on the picture. It's the frame. Do you think? Do you think it's less noticeable because the world is just so ridiculous looking? Like the characters are all just ridiculous looking characters that that's where your focus is and you just don't notice it as much no because aquaman is even worse you got like fish people floating around ah fish people yeah i there's one scene where they're having a conversation two people are in the water and they're bobbing up and down the entire conversation like it's just a cut off shot like from their chest up right but just in frame, they're just bobbing constantly. And I was like, man, I feel seasick watching like this. <laughs> yeah. I was just like, why do this? Like, pool, if you're going to have them sway with the water. They want to make you feel like you're in the water with them. It, I guess. But pull back. Show their whole body so you have a little bit more context. And then you don't have to, like, you don't have to visually show them bobbing. We get the idea that they're in water. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the the camera would also be bobbing with them equally. So it's fine. Just leave them floating there. Also, they have so much control over their body in the water. Why are they now, bobbing? I'm going to say this, and this may be controversial. That's my it's biggest a hot take. issue. Bobbing. What's up? Ever, hot take. Ever since the fish people unionized, their representation in, in movies has been garbage. Yeah, that's true. I know a lot of people disagree, but well, I mean, it, unions it ruin everything, right? I, I agree with that. <laughs> well, you were saying you've been watching Mash. Yes. What has got uh, you into Mash? Because if I, I remember correctly, that's an uh, old, boring show. It's very old. It's from the seventies and eighties, and it's based in the fifties during the Korean War. Oh, is it Basically, Korean? I thought it was Vietnam. No, it's Korean War. Hmm. So basically, if you're not familiar, it is about a mobile army surgical uh, hospital. I yes. think is what it stands for. And it's just a bunch of medic surgeons who operate on soldiers who are injured yeah. during the Korean War. Um, but it's it's a comedy, but it's also... It's got heart to it. It's got, oh, it's definitely got the heart. It's got a little bit of drama, you know. I mean, obviously, it's still war. And, like, they don't they don't try to joke too much about it. You know, they still yeah. take the war seriously mm-hmm. and their job seriously. Um, it's really good. I watched it a lot as a kid. My dad really liked it. And they it was syndicated on, like, Fox. Yeah. So it was always on, like, you could watch two to three episodes a day, just well, every single day. To be fair, when you were a kid, you weren't. You didn't have any good shows or movies or anything like that available to you. No, it was pretty much this. Uh, so, yeah, we grew to, to watch it a lot, but it's a very different show than I remember. Like, it's the show is the same, but the characters feel so different. Yeah. And I don't know if it's because I'm still in like the early parts of it and maybe I saw a lot of the later stuff. I'm not really sure, but it's still enjoyable. It's a lot of the the humor it's it's very dry yeah that's kind of my style in general and probably came from this a lot or a lot of came from this kind of thing yeah i find it enjoyable um i'm almost through the first season i think i've I've got like two more episodes to go so that's been kind of what i've been watching yeah in general so they all want to leave or is it just one character who wants to leave uh, it's so yeah. Basically, I, I think I did bring this. Didn't I bring this up last week when we talked? Maybe I, I was talking to someone else. I don't think it was uh, me. there is a there. There is a character 
uh, named Klinger that is trying his hardest to be discharged from the army. So he just does crazy stuff and he's always pretty much dressed as a woman. Mm. He's yeah. That that <laughs> I mean that's about it. <laughs> Cuz it that always reminded me of Catch 22. Uh, did you ever read that book? No, but I I remember you telling me about it years ago. You were reading it. And I think that's probably when we talked about this. Yeah, maybe. The uh the characters cuz they are all trying to get out of the war. And the whole catch twenty two thing is there. So I think that I want to say they're bomber pilots, and to get out of it, you had to claim that you were insane. But to claim that you were insane to get out of flying the pilot, or flying as a pilot, proved that you weren't insane. So no matter what you did, you had to fly the plane. Team. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Interesting. Yeah. I heard that there was supposed to be a movie in the works. I think they've been trying to do that forever. It didn't work out. Yeah. But uh Um but yeah, it's a it's a good one. Do you recommend like it? it? I mean, I, I think it's at this point with it being I think even even during its time it was probably a, a like a, a specific sense of humor, you know, it's not gonna get like a a wide net. Yeah. But with it being as old as it is, it's probably even more select. Yeah. Into dry humor, then absolutely. If not, try it anyways. So yes, definitely recommend it. <laughs> that was a long runway to just say yes. To get to say yes, I recommend it. Um, I would say don't watch Aquaman. If you liked Wonder Woman, you might like Aquaman. That it felt. I, it, I tolerated uh, Wonder Woman. So uh, to me, they felt on the same level. Okay. Um, the the writing was cringy. The acting was cringy. The effects were bad. One liners. Um, a lot of like no one seemed to be on the same page tonally. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Like some people seem like they're taking it really. Comedy? What's up? Like, would you would you say it's somewhat of a comedy or is it all drama action? Um, maybe maybe it's a comedy. Like how you would you could class like you wouldn't say Thor was a comedy, but maybe Ragnarok could Rag- be considered I, a comedy for sure. Yeah, so I would say on the spectrum, Ragnarok is probably the most comedic of the MCU, right? Yes. Um, <clears throat> this. If so, if Ragnarok's a ten, and the and Thor and, one is a one, yeah, Thor one is a one. This is somewhere in the middle. This is probably like a five. Like, okay, I just I don't feel like they really knew what they wanted to do. Um, there was a few times where the audience laughed, but it it was like telegraphed the jokes. Like, oh, okay, I don't know. Uh, Aquaman would make like this big speech to like try to convince his opposition and then he'd just be like but if not screw you and then they would fight and so it was just like I don't know that's not that me- was hands down the best Jason Momoa impression I've ever heard in my life yeah thank that you that was fantastic yeah. I've been practicing in the mirror a lot I that's what I've heard <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I don't know. It's, I wouldn't call it a comedy personally. I mean, I, I don't know if I would call Ragnarok a comedy. Like I would say that's the most comedic, but I I don't know if I'd be like, oh yeah, this is, this is a good comedy. Right. Um, but yeah, I was, I was disappointed in Aquaman. I had low expectations going in and Uh, the whole time I I watched it, it felt, I said this to someone on Twitter because I posted something about how I didn't like the movie. And I felt like they were just they hated you for it. Basically, I told I said that I felt like they were taking elements from all these other movies, and they're like, "These elements have been around way before." And I was like, "Yeah, but the movie still sucks." Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I was saying it felt like a lot of vignettes of the Aquaman version of these better moments from other movies. Like, there's one point this guy builds a suit, and it feels very much like Tony Stark building his suit in his uh not in the cave but in his workshop the first time yeah then like i said there was a how to turn your dragon 2 
moment that felt oh so like was that legit yeah no seriously like oh, wow. i was like this is almost identical <laughs> to what happened in that other movie and it wow. you it's so obvious that it's coming and just like all right let's just get to it and so we can move on but everything is like that everything is telegraphed everything is there's no there's one scene where you don't care about spoilers, right? I'm gonna. This is somewhat of a spoiler. No, not for this one. But it's a. I'm it, not about it. You you find out pretty early on, so it's somewhat of a spoiler. Not that big of a spoiler. His mom You've had di- plenty of warning. <laughs> His mom dies, and he doesn't oh. know. <laughs> he doesn't know about it. And when he's a kid, he's training, and he's like, "I want to see my mom." And he's training with this other guy who is, you know, an Atlantean. And uh, the guy said, "She, you can't see her because she was taken to the trench and sacrificed. And he's like, what are you saying? She's dead because <laughs> of me? And it was just like, man, you, you really had to lay it on so thick to make it clear yeah. what happened. You know what I mean? And it's just the whole movie was like that. Because yeah. I think they were trying to appeal to kids, but also not. And they weren't really what sure. Do, what, do, what do kids love more than their mom's dad? <laughs> but I mean, like, they wanted to make it clear what all of that meant. Right. Um, yeah, I I can't get excited for anything DC. I was burned by Suicide Squad. I haven't forgotten. And nothing since then has even remotely looked worth my time. No, nothing. And so far, I've been right. Like I said, Wonder Woman was decent. I'll I'll give it credit because it didn't feel like these other DC movies. Mm -hmm. Um, but I, the rest is so bad that it's going to be so hard for me to see a trailer again and be like, "There it is. This is going to get me back." They should. That's legit how I felt about Suicide Squad. I was like, I haven't been excited for any of these DC stuff, but this one, this is going to get me in. They no, blew it. They're doing it all backwards. <laughs> they they like jumped in with both feet trying to set up the Justice League and they and skipped over yeah. everything that would have made that work. And now they're trying to make these unlikable characters likable, relatable, and they're choosing the wrong characters. Yeah. Like first, if you can't do Batman right you got problems like that's the that should be your home run every time if you're not doing that then you need to reevaluate you know what i'm saying yeah um but they should have done the flash before they did aquaman like the flash already oh, has he's a much cooler character well he's already got a show right like he's already got a following people know him know his backstory know the lore all this different stuff don't use the same character don't use the same storylines but people are like, he's on their radar. Familiar. Yeah. You know? And then so you can build your world out where you have some momentum already. Going straight to Aquaman, who was a weird character in the Justice League as it was, seems just like a not well thought out <laughs> thing, you know? And the same with Wonder Woman. I don't feel like they would have done Wonder Woman, her story, had she not been a female character. Like, it seemed like their point was, let's make a female superhero movie. That's fine, but that shouldn't be your first agenda. You know, that shouldn't be on the, that shouldn't be your main focus. It should be, let's make the best movie we can. And that also happens to be a female superhero. You know what I mean? That leads me to two points. The first being... Now, you can tell me if you felt differently, but I, I always felt, and I remember as a kid growing up, Aquaman was always kind of like a joke. Like, yeah, he was always like the, the, the dumbest superhero. Like, yeah. the, well, he was always like the, the butt of a lot of jokes. He was always made fun of. Like, he just isn't an interesting character. Yeah. I as soon as I found out that they were adding him, I assumed that they were going to probably overcompensate for that and make him like the super coolest, most hardcore dude out there. 
Well, he wasn't even that. He was like a nerdy, tough guy. Oh, a nerdy, tough guy. Maybe nerdy is not the right word, but like... Geeky? Maybe geeky. No, not scientific. Like... uh, Intelligent, educated? No, not like that. Not that's... Not in that terms. Like okay, then use your own words. I'm trying, and you keep talking over me. <laughs> um, Superficial. He, he's like a, he's like this big, strong, tough guy. So there's one scene where people come up and ask if he can take a picture, and he's like, I guess, and he doesn't want to smile, and he's like grumpy, and then it it goes through this like collage of all these different pictures, and then he starts like having fun, and he's like dancing with them, and they're all drinking beer together, like his. He like tries to act tough, but he's like not tough at the same time. Like he's strong, but he's not. I don't know. It's weird. Like he's a goofball, yeah. but he's. I don't know. It doesn't. It's not a not a great character choice in my opinion. But, but anyways, I think that's enough about Aquaman. Especially if we're not going to talk about spoilers. I don't think anyone cares to hear. I mean, I'm sure I'll see it eventually. It took me a long time to watch Justice League. Yeah, that, that's how I was with Wonder Woman too. Now, on the flip side, yeah, I, I I take it back when I say I'm not interested in any DC movies because there is one that is upcoming. I, I it's probably next year that I have some interest in. You uh-huh. tell me what you think. The the Joaquin Phoenix Joker movie. I, I'm not interested in that at all. The Shazam. No. I'm excited for Shazam. No. But. Yeah, okay, Shazam, I yeah, that one I'll probably see earlier. Like I don't know, it seems pretty cool. But no Joker for you? No, nah, I'm not not from this current run of movies. I know it's like but I feel outside. Like, I feel like this is the venom of this universe, you know? Um, like how it's doesn't really fit in with these other movies. It's mm-hmm. its own standalone thing. Yeah, I'm I don't worried. know if that's the case. That it's going to be like the quality of Venom, though. Like, I still haven't actually seen Venom. <laughs> the whole, I'm going to rip your arms off and you're going to be like a turd rolling down the street type of stuff. Oh, love it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's wrap this up and then we can start talking about... So if you're watching on Twitch, we're going to continue our conversation and talk about X-Men First Class. You're, if you are not on Twitch, if you're listening to this on... Uh, if you're watching on YouTube or listening on the podcast... This week should be our first episode of X-Men, starting the X-Men franchise. Okay. So today we're actually in first class, so we're six, seven movies in, but what's coming out this week is the first of that. I like it. All right. 